Well, we had a, a very good meeting with the FBI. We had told them in advance of uh, the situation where we're at. Uh, they still insisted that we um, um, uh, be in, in Lausanne to do a presentation to their bureau. Uh, that went extremely well. Uh, the uh, technical requirements uh, were all exceeded. Uh, they were. Uh, they feel it's a fantastic site to, to hold the World Equestrian Games. Uh, no doubt about that. That was never in question. Um, the, the the problem is still the uh, public uh, commitments for the funding. We're not ready to take uh, a, a risk. We want to do the best games ever, and uh, we need the the financial support from both the the provincial level and the federal level. We're still very confident we will get that. Uh, based on the economic impact that uh, uh, we know will, uh, will be generated. Just in taxes for the federal government, the provincial government, uh, it, it, it's not an expense. It's going to be an investment. They're going to collect way more than what they, uh, they, they put forward. And it will generate uh, a legacy that will be quite unique and quite helpful for the uh, equestrian uh, sports um, across the country. The cost of the uh, facilities? The, the games, we're looking at a budget that's around 60 mil, $65 million. Uh, we're asking uh, about $10 million for each level of government. Um, and uh, on top of that, there's some investments that need to be made uh, in terms of uh, enhancement of the facilities here. We're looking at something that's between 20 and $25 million to uh, have indoor rings and something we want this site to become uh, you know, a, a leader in Canada, uh, being able to operate year-round. And uh, we would like to see this become a center of excellence for uh, equestrian sports in Canada. How confident are you that the government? Well, I, we're, we're, uh, you know, if we felt there was not really a chance, we wouldn't be here. We would not be uh, pursuing this. We feel there's a very good chance. The, uh, the financial structure that we've put in place is very solid. We're getting, we've actually exceeded our targets for, uh, from the private sector commitments. So, you know, we're, we're in good shape. It's a question of timing with governments. Uh, there was a number of scandals and, uh, and, and you know, um, uh, different problems they had to deal with. Uh, making a, a large contribution uh, could be questioned, so nobody really uh, wants to uh, stick out their head, uh, especially before a, a cabinet shuffle. Uh, but I, I think the time has come. Uh, they realize that this, they might be missing out on the opportunity and they see the number of jobs and the, the revenues that would be generated uh, in taxes. And uh, I think that's why we're, we're very confident we can uh, get this going uh, sooner than later. It's in the best interest of the FEI to go outside of Europe. Uh, there's different sites in Europe that can host the uh, World Equestrian Games, uh, no doubt about it. They don't even have to do any kind of investment. They, they already have the setup. It doesn't do any good for the development of the sport in the world. Uh, they always have to remember the, uh, the I in FEI. The international side is very important. Uh, I think if they want to have a broader reach for their sponsors, for their visibility, going outside of Europe is, is needed. Uh, they, uh, you know, it only was once out of Europe uh, in... Uh, in uh, in Kentucky and it was a great success. There were some issues there. We've learned from that so we, we benefit from that experience. There was no fi uh, funding from the governments in Kentucky other than on the, uh, the park itself by the, the state of Kentucky. Uh, we're in a different context here and I think we can hold uh, these games and, and make that uh, uh, even the best games ever. Um, we're very confident about that. The deadlines uh, are um, by the end of September. Uh, the FEI uh, has set that date to uh, receive uh, letters of interest uh, from the different countries that would be interesting in, in putting a bid together. Uh, we feel that you know, if we're able to secure the, the public funding by that time, there's probably not too many countries that will uh, uh, want to go through that process. Uh, and then uh, the FEI is given it itself until uh, the spring of uh, 2014 to make uh, a decision on the, the next uh, World Equestrian Games. And do you know at this point there are other We don't. We don't. We, we know that um, 
the the last bid that was there facing you know uh, facing uh, the one we had was uh, from Austria. Austria uh, was not able to complete the technical aspect, so you know uh, getting the financial aspect, considering the financial troubles uh, that, uh, that Europe is going through, I would say quite unlikely. There's probably uh, cities in Germany that could uh, host that uh, tomorrow morning, uh, but that doesn't do anything uh, for the sport and, and, and for the FEI. So um, I'm pretty confident we'll, uh, we'll be able to, uh, to pull this one off. Do you think there's something from Dubai or Who knows? Um, who knows? You know, they, they have money to uh, throw around, I guess, and uh, uh, you never know. They, they might be... Uh, uh, it, we haven't heard and we haven't been uh, contacted by anyone either. And why do you say that Bromont exceeds the technical Well, um, in many cases, uh, facilities uh, will, uh, will be scattered in, in uh, the different events will be scattered in different uh, uh, sites. Uh, this site is quite unique. You have everything uh, at the same location and in a, in a very tight compact uh, uh, setting, which is quite unique. Kentucky uh, is a fantastic park, but it, it's very spread out. So you, you lost a bit of that spirit. And that was a comment made by the FEI. They felt that this site was uh, really interesting for that because you, you could keep the spirit of those games at, on the same location. And it's a beautiful site as well.